look at these guys with matching helmets. Looking strong. Good to see you, brother. How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm Pete. Brandon. Good to meet you. Hey, Katie. I've seen you before. Right? Hey, little man. <laughs> right on. <laughs> and what's your name? Kyle. Dude. Kyle. Good to meet you. Oh, we're on camera. Yeah, you're on camera, That's man. Sick. Yeah. You're on camera. Hello, Water Wilson Creek. <laughs> World famous Eric Stewart. It's been <laughs> probably 13 years since I paddled with Eric, and I think we were on the Elk River. Drop into what you you wow. had the not the best jump off the rock that day. Uh, oh, you were there. That I was day. there. Oh. Yeah, it was a good time, and that was pre GoPro. So I'm sorry I can't deliver you that footage, but it was fantastic. Kevin got eaten in a hole. There was some footage of that. Lost. Oh, there was. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Eric got Maybe it. I'll dig it up. But um, Somewhere. got Johnny. We got Johnny's up here with um, Kevin and Jamie and Alan, and they're gonna do the upper. We got Avery, first timer. Of course, Kevin Ratliff. So uh. And I got the rewind today. In party mode, let's go have some fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember him being there, but. And that was our first time down, I believe. Uh, So if, if you see something bad happen to somebody, go somewhere else. <laughs>
that felt good. I, I, I'd, I'd like to do it again, but. When you ferry out, ferry out across the wave a little bit to try to get further that way. Okay. I'm going right through hotel. Yeah. Push off the rock a little bit towards me. One, two, three, scoot. Wow, you're in there good. Yeah, yeah, do it again. Yep. Right on. Yes, sir. Come on, come on! Yeah, you got it! You got it! You got it! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> nice! You ever been in a hole like that? You've tangled with little wood all. <laughs> you ever been stuck in a hole like that? Uh, I don't know. You have now. That's big. You gotta learn that stuff. That's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> what? what? Oh dear. Get up, get up. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yes, yeah, sir. Woo! That's a close one, baby. <laughs> way to keep it together. Yeah, you went this way last time. But just go right off this knob. You don't have to ferry out much. If you go far, you'll overshoot it to the left. Yeah. But when you peel out, just put your nose in there and you're gone, you're, you're good to go. Perfect, you're good. Are you good? Yeah. You can really get on that with more water. Dry 
drive up on that rock. Yeah, drive up on it and then get a good hard right boot stroke. Drive up on some rock. And then launch. That rock there. Yeah, he did good. Just drive it with a hard boot stroke off of it. It's a pretty sweet little boot. All right, folks, I am here with Bear, Brooklyn, and Clay from Alabama. They're doing a little fishing up here on the creek. How do y'all like it? It's awesome. Awesome. Tiny. Tiny. Right on. Well, they're kind of interested in the boating, so maybe we'll see them on the river. Anything you want to say to the YouTube world? Roll Tide. Woo! <laughs> Your right stroke early to drive you out of that booth. See, they're all like S turning it. Yeah. Booth, come through there with force and booth out of that trough and you'll send off that rock. the right next time yeah we'll go right off that little lump rock oh you didn't check us bait yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey it's your second lap it's your second lap, <laughs> it's your second lap. Showed you down the first time. you're on your own now i thought i told you that <laughs> <laughs> Coming in right on your tail. Lean right, lean right, yeah. Nice.
Lloyd, is that a swimmer bell, baby? Woo! Yeah, man, how you doing? Mr. Good. Man? This is first time down? My second time is my boy, my first time. Fantastic. Have y'all met Pete? Pete, man, yeah, no. Have you met him? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. This is my son, Zach. This is Joe. Right on. Need water. The kids are killing it, man. Yeah, Talk to me, man. I saw you go. Uh, out of the boat was it uh what happened there lost the paddle lost the paddle yeah i couldn't uh skirt imploded while you're fighting for no, it no oh, no I've, that's, no, that's, I've that's, a good, that's what you say no um <laughs> so the the unfortunate real quick this is a long swam story the i need to bench that paddle pete <laughs> if only you knew someone who was in the outdoor supply industry yeah such as myself <laughs> oh man so you swam one time, yeah. I've heard of people swimming on race day. At least you didn't do that. Yeah, I'm working <laughs> on my race line, so. You're not supposed to keep that thing. You got to get rid of it. Uh, his name's River. River. <laughs> Katie is about to introduce another paddler to the world. Any minute, right? Any day? Any time. We were hoping this would do something, maybe. Oh, whew. awesome. Good stuff. Always good to see you guys. And the main man. What's going on? Doing all right? What's up, man? Woo. Hadn't good seen him on a real river just at the Whitewater Park. Yeah. But uh, he's out here with his son, friend, and his son. Crushing some lines. Boys look good, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. They've been, they've been training hard. Training hard. Yes, this sir. is like their first real river they've been on. So That's awesome. We, we went out to Chatuga Section 3, but. Yeah, how'd that go? It was good. Bull Slew, we did Bull Slew. I did, I did Section 4 last week, and I swam through Sock and Dog. Oh, oh that's not a good swim. I got, I got lucky. <laughs> I got real lucky. I look at the footage, and I'm just like, how? Like, God pushed me out of the. I hit that rock. Right before, right yeah, where that yeah. hole is, smacked on my head. Uh, and then God pushed me on out, man. Oh, that's but good. Yeah, nah, but we've been practicing a lot, so it's been awesome. It's been fun. We'll get together on a river, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Looking forward to it. And he's got the tunes. Woo! Joy lap on Wilson at somewhere around negative six. Well, we're not negative at all. No. <laughs> we're having the most positive time of our lives.
I'm gonna hire a porter to get this part done for me. <laughs> All right, negative six, baby. We ran into Alan Dell, who was in the area paddling the upper Wilson with some friends. He's done a PFD on Wilson Creek, but it was negative 12. And this is his first time on the river at flow, and he's ready to step it up. If at any point you feel like it's not your day, let me know. We're roadside, we're supposed to get out, but I think we're gonna be fine. A little more than last time, the flow is just gonna dictate where you go. A couple good hard strokes to get somewhere, but you got it. I mean, this is, you got this. Well within your skill set. Just stay calm and paddle. Don't like start thinking, oh my gosh, just, just paddle, relax and paddle. He's a fantastic boater. Kevin's good. Nothing to worry about except your own lines and we got nothing to worry about but you, so I'll go. Unless I tell you different, I'll just go the straight forward line. I am gonna try to rock spin. coming because you're paddling defensive you're not paddling you're just letting it happen to you a little bit a couple strokes at the right time is going to put you where you need to be versus floating watching then the river just has its way forward stroke above all else keeps you stable so if you feel unstable start paddling forward you may have to left brace on that rock at the bottom Just relax. 
This is fun. Smile, it makes you paddle better. <laughs> Nothing to this one, just be straight at the bottom when you hit it. Lean forward, paddle through it. Oh yeah. underwater and I got my blade under the shaft and kind of threw it up in the air dislodged it so it'd come on down just another thing to look for I'm glad he had a bright colored paddle or I may not have noticed it as I was coming over 10 foot falls I got it keep floating all the way to these rocks um how you doing that was a good run be a little more aggressive with your edging that's all you you did wrong there when you hit the rock, you were right. When you came off the rock, you dropped that left edge and it dumped you. Yeah. Your, your paddle was in the falls. Yeah. I went by and flipped it up, got under the handle and flipped it up. It was like wedged in there pretty good. Well, good stuff, man. Personal experience tells me this is a good spot to do it. And this brings back good memories of race day on the Wilson Creek Go Fast Day where I was swimming my alpha through this pool up to this very spot that Alan's looking for now. You're gonna be really good at that. You keep this up. Thank you. So, you know what I'm saying though? You hit the rock when you careened into the rock, uh -huh. you leaned into it, great. When you came off, you came back level with your boat. You still weren't at flow, so you still have to keep that edge up. That's all, that's the only problem you had. I mean, otherwise you were looking good. He's about, I can feel it. He's about to turn the corner and start having fun. Oh yeah. So you're feeling the flush a little bit. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the flush. So you have to harness that flush. And the reason, the way you do that is you let your boat work. In other words, the boat will do a lot of the work for you and your paddle just being in the water will do the work, but you have to mind those edges a little more because it makes you pay. So like when you hit that rock sideways, you lean into it, perfect. And then you dropped your edge to put your left paddle stroke, whoop, and it was you were gone. Keep that edge. Just always mind your edges. All about the edge. The whole. If I could boil everything down to one thing, you could do. It's your edge.
and we've all been there. Ready to step up our whitewater and getting to a river only to have things fall apart on us. Alan has been working hard to improve his kayaking and has all the skills needed to complete this run at this flow. But today was just not going the way he imagined. He told me later he felt a little intimidated by the river and the situation. That led to paddling defensively. And paddling defensively does not usually yield good results. Here he is working on his third swim and he still has a lot of river left to go. It's moments like this that you decide what kind of paddler you're going to be. You just have to get out of your head and start paddling. You leaned away from it. Rocks don't like you if you don't like them. You got to hug the rock. <laughs> 